And they said the second time they'd never do it no more. But Lord, forgive them. Amen. Give them another chance. Give them an opportunity. Don't condemn them in the condition that they're in, but spare them a little while longer that they can get themselves right with you. Y'all make sure you say enough to tell them. Make sure that you have a prayer life. Make sure that prayer is a priority for you. Make sure that you have a place where you can get off by yourself. Where ain't nobody going to bother you. Where the TV's off. Where you can put the phone down. And you can get in your closet. I, 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 know, I know some of y'all know that song by the Mississippi Mass Choir. Come on in the room. Yeah. And, 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 and I love just the story that goes along with that. It talked about how there was an accident that had taken place across the street from where the man lived. And the, the man, one of them was hurt pretty bad. And the old lady came over there and she asked the man for, for some help. And she asked about like, all the things she could have said. She said, sir, do you have a call? Yeah. He said, man, what are you talking about? Do I have a call? He said, she said, do you have a closet? Because I need to talk to my doctor. You ought to have your place, your secret place, your place where you can get alone, where it's just you and God. And then some of the spouses, we gotta start praying with each other. Yeah. Come on. Parents, you gotta start praying with your children. So when they get older, they know how to talk to God. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know, you, you can start them off easy. Y'all know what you're starting off with. Now I let me die to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Amen. Not only should you be teaching them to pray, you ought to be teaching them the word. Teaching them to read the word and give it the word. And you can start my easy. You know what you're starting out with. Jesus will. Then they move on from Jesus' baptism. But God so loved the world. Even the only begotten Son, who so shall believe in him, should not pray, but have an everlasting life. And let me tell you, in, in order to get to a place of, of having a strong prayer life with God, you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere and sometime. And why not let today be the day that you start being intentional about your prayer life? with God and talking to God. Some of y'all even here this morning and even watching, you can't remember the last time you were actually happy. You can't remember the last time you had real joy because you're dealing with life situations when you could have been gave it to the Lord in prayer. He's waiting. He said, you know what? Yes, that care that you're carrying around. Because I care about you. I care about what you're going through. And there's some folk in here that realize the Lord will help you to bear that load. Oh, yeah. He'll bear it for you. And it'll help you to get through those difficult times. But make sure you're in conversation with God. If, if you're here today and you recognize that you're a child of God, you say, well, well I understand at this point that I have not been praying as much as I ought to pray. I, I understand that not only have I been praying as often as I should pray, I haven't been praying for the right things. If your prayer has anything to do with God getting somebody for what they've done, it ain't went no higher than your seat. <laughs> if your prayer had anything to do with sin having to be present for something to get done, your prayer ain't getting no higher than the seat. That's why you gotta ask when the, the spirit uh, will help you. Because the Bible said we don't even know how to pray for what we ought to. 
For the Spirit makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be understood. So when you pray, make sure you're praying for the right stuff. That's right. Amen. When you pray, pray for the right reason. Make sure prayer is a priority in your life. So if you understand that, if you understand your prayer life is not where it needs to be, and you desire the prayers of the church this morning to get stronger, to be more intentional about that. Because anything, whether that's prayer, whether that's your faith, your study time, anything in your faith walk with God, you're going to have to be intentional. 